Hey guys, it is me, Hepasarik, and welcome to a brand new free-to-play series of Last on Earth Survival. So for those who don't know what free-to-play stands for, it's basically we're gonna be playing this game without spending a single penny. But my main focus on this series is to show people how to get rich in this game. If you've never played Last on Earth Survival in these series, are gonna help you out a lot. And also, we're just gonna have some fun playing the game. So first things first, we have to go and loot this truck. Inside of the truck, we're gonna get some basic items. So let's take all of these basic items. Nice jacket and cleaver, I should equip myself. Yeah, I've Obviously, we're gonna do that. So my last free-to-play series are almost three years old at this point, which is kind of even crazy to think about. But hey, we equipped this jacket, we got ourselves a cleaver. So without any further ado, let's go and kill the zombies. Even the game tells us to kill the zombies. I don't even know during which update the game added these prompts here, but... That was quite a while ago, if I'm not mistaken. And at the same time, it's kind of fun to restart the game. Maybe there were some new things that were added to the game already. So we have to gather some of the resources. And another cool thing, that there is now season 18 going in the game. So check this out. When we click on it, it says that we need to be level 15. But during the season 18 at level 2, you can get yourself a big tactical backpack. So we cannot miss that opportunity. We got to get that free tactical backpack as soon as possible. That free tactical backpack is going to help us progress in the game much, much faster. It's going to be much, much easier to play the game game so i can make a backpack with fiber and rope so yes indeed that's what we're gonna do we're gonna craft do i really need to craft the spear probably not we just need to level up a bit more even in order to unlock that backpack we don't even have it yet so here we go first tip or trick is that behind your face cam there's this auto button so if you click on it your character is gonna start picking up all of these items at the base so i suggest you clicking that and just pick up all of these miscellaneous limestones but i think it's time for us to go and craft a hatchet so let's craft that hatchet and also another thing and very important thing is that if you're gonna chop down your trees you won't be able to get new trees at the base even though if you're gonna craft the shovel sometimes occasionally you will be able to bring a sapling to the base and you will be able to grow brand new trees but if you want to keep these trees at the base you can keep them at the base i suggest you just chopping them down this way you'll have more space at the base and it's just gonna look better so chop down all of your trees get as many resources as possible you can also sneak behind the zombies and do triple the damage if these zombies did not see you again that's a pretty obvious tip and trick most of you probably already knew this but i have to mention that if you have never played this game before so there are a couple of more zombies and they do give a lot of experience and we need all of that experience because we need to level up to level 15 as fast as possible and we have to go and kill a deer so let's go let's kill that deer if i sneak up on the enemy from the back they can't notice me yes Yes, indeed. Here go. We just leveled up. So let's go to the backpack and let's select a skill. So you always get one of the three random skills. Food restores 2% more health. I think that's what we are going to choose. Let's go. Let's choose that skill. I'm going to leave some of the deer here at the base because they don't ask for a drink. They don't ask for food. So I killed them. We're just going to keep those deer here. Let's take the rest of these items. And I think now we can learn this backpack. Say, so let's go. Let's learn the backpack. Let's craft ourselves a backpack. And the character automatically equips it. And hopefully this is going to be the last backpack that we have to craft because maybe Maybe even today, I don't re really remember how hard it is to reach level 15, but the first like 20 or 30 levels are incredibly easy to get. From what I remember, you can get to like level 30 maybe even in one day, so who knows, maybe even today we're gonna get that big tactical backpack. There's another arrow showing me where to go. So I think we're just gonna click on that arrow and we'll do what the game wants me to do. And then we can peacefully clear out this place. So check the radio. So yeah, basically here we can repair the CB radio. Then you'll be able to call the dealer. And also for those who do not know, in order to raid, you need to be level 150. Because I keep getting this question every single day. So if you're not level 150, you won't be able to raid. But hey, let's also maybe repair the base a little bit. We're gonna pick up the wall. From the wall, we got five limestones and 10 common planks. We also got these notes, list of tasks. Let's show you them oh i even forgot about this we have to visit pine bushes we have to build two level one walls we can get some points and we can kill some more zombies there's this i don't even remember how this thing is called the survival guide right i completely forgotten about the survival guide so we have 30 days to finish it and during level one we'll be able to get the simple rewards like juicy steaks and water but the further we go the better rewards we can get here and even if you don't get the full version of this survival guide, which I am not planning to get the full version of the survival guide here as this is a free-to-play account, you can get lots of cool stuff. You can get like these M16s and at the very end, you can almost assemble your chopper. I mean, you can get these chopper forks, etc., etc. So yeah, this survival guide is pretty decent. But hey, right now I will craft myself a pickaxe just so that we can clear out this base quickly. At the same time, we're going to level up. So here I'm just going to drop items that I don't think I will need as of right now. This small box is probably going to be not sorted out. It's 
going to be quite messy. But hey, now I'm going to let my character go on auto and he's going to pick up everything that there is to pick up. And speaking about Last on Earth Survival, the beginning of this game, especially the beginning, is very packed with events. I think for an entire week now, every single day, we will be getting some sort of a different event. There are also crashed plane events. There are so many things to do as a beginner. And we haven't even went to our bunker alpha because that's where we're going to build our wealth. So let's open up the backpack. Let's select another skill. And your health is increased by two. Yeah, probably that's the skill that we are going to get. And hey, we have already leveled up to level three. So let's see what new items we have unlocked. Doesn't really look like we have unlocked anything. But hey, I think we can learn this woodworking bench. And we could also learn maybe the campfire. Because I'm pretty certain the campfire is going to be quite useful. Because in the campfire, you can cook food. And you can get more coal. And you can use that coal as fuel to cook more food. Wait, also, before we do anything else. And my character's hatchet just broke. Wait, let's craft a new one. Maybe, maybe there is a dealer close to the base and maybe there's already like some sort of an event. Wait, let's deal with that guy. And uh, what is this? It says something. Walk up to the dog. All right. And what, the, what if I touch it? Looks like the dog wants me to follow it. Uh, you gotta be kidding me. To the map. Okay, we can go to the map, whatever. Let's go to the map. Let's just do what the game wants me to do. It wants me to go probably to the forest without me clearing the base first with only berries in my pocket. But hey, we have gotten this crashed plane event, which is a pretty nice event. You can get here so many resources. You can get here a lot of loot. And the game doesn't show us anything else. But hey, we have an entire hour to get to that crash plane, which we will obviously go to. So I came back to the base to chop down more trees and the game still shows me to leave this place. So probably it wants me to go to a green zone or something, which... We will definitely go, but I want to clean my base first, please. And let's select another skill. So all of these skills are, man, nothing super important, but hey, let's get this lucky skill. And there are a few important skills that you have to pick up. There is a skill called extra pocket. 100% pick that extra pocket if you're going to see it, because it will unlock you this pocket over here and you'll be able to store more items and you'll be able to quickly access your second weapon or more healing items. So that extra pocket is very useful. Let's craft ourselves a second pickaxe. And also there is a burglar skill, so make sure to get the burglar skill because the burglar skill is very important. With burglar skill, you can get some finger grenades, etc, etc. It's going to be important in the future. So a burglar skill and extra pocket. Those two skills are very important. Pick them. All right, so I think we cleared this place completely. My character says no resources to collect when I go on auto. So we have cleared the entire base and we are already almost level five. I think while we are here at the base, I'm going to learn how to craft one more box. So let's craft that small box. And I think another thing that some people do not know is that you can upgrade your boxes. So I have placed this box over here, but I, you can go to this box. You can click Click on it. In the top right, there's going to be this arrow that points upwards. Click on it and here you can upgrade this chest. This way you'll be able to store even more items inside of that chest. So maybe inside of this chest, I'll just store some resources like wood and stones. So my character is a bit thirsty. I am going to drink a little bit of water that I have here. But another tip and trick is that if you're thirsty or hungry, you can just die at the base. There are no penalties for death if you die at your own base. But if you're going to die, let's say in the green forest or in the red forest, you will lose all of your items. So be careful with that. Maybe here we can get some food. Yes, we got some food. I'll probably take that food with me and I'll eat it when I need to heal up. I just picked up the garbage. I just picked up that broken wall. So we got some extra resources. But hey, let's go outside now and it doesn't really show me where should we go. But I think we're going to start it off by going to the crash plane event. I do have this cleaver. I have a little bit of healing items. I have this <laughs> thick jacket. So it should be good enough. And the cool part about starting last on earth right now is that you have 200 energy instead of 100 energy. I'm pretty certain last time when I've started playing Last on Earth Survival on my free to play account, I did not have that much energy. We had only 100 energy and it was a bit harder to play the game. You had to manage your energy carefully. But hey, now you have 200 energy, so you have some room for mistakes. Let's say if you're going to go to a green forest and you'll forget a hatchet or something, you can always get back home and get it. But still, be careful with your energy. Be wise about it. So let's start picking up items that we absolutely need because there are a lot of items in the game that are not important. Like, for example, these gold bars. Sometimes a dealer will ask you for these gold bars. I mean, for now, I'm just going to take everything and I'll just drop items that I don't need if we run out of space, which we will. Or we can always just get back to this event later because this event last here for an entire hour and now we have a bit more energy also these gold watches you can recycle them after you're gonna craft a recycler but again most of the time these golden watches are useless unless a dealer is gonna ask for these golden watches so most of the time golden watches and gold bars are kind of bad same thing as in this chest we've got in this mobile phone you can recycle these mobile mobile phones to get electronic circuits etc etc but most of the time these phones aren't amazing either so inside of this chest we can get some armor 
And again, most of that armor is just broken. I am, however, going to get rid of these gold bars because I don't think I'm going to be visiting any dealers. To visit a dealer, you're just going to get a free weapon or a free gun, and that's going to cost you a lot of energy. And most of the time, they're not even going to ask for these expensive watches and these gold bars. So I'd rather keep them here. And I do not want to store that garbage in my base. That's just as simple as that. My base is not infinite. I don't have infinite storage over there. Let's get that ball bearing, even though the ball bearing isn't super important either. And soon my character is going to start starving, so I, I am going to eat that jerky. So let's proceed further and let's open up some more boxes. Let's just take everything that we can take. All right, we can take some more jerky. So let's try to take that jerky here. Let's try to take the armor and the cleaver. I mean, hatchets and pickaxes are quite easy to craft. So I'm just going to leave them here. Again, you can always come back and pick that stuff later as this event lasts for an entire hour. But inside of another chest, we're going to get a crowbar. So obviously take all the weapons. Once again, another watch. We already know that watches are useless. I do not pick that stuff up. Inside of other bags, we are going to get some food and this first aid kit with... I think you should probably take first aid kits are kind of great. I am going to get rid of the mobile phone because by the time you upgrade your recycler to be able to recycle these phones and get electronic circuits, it's going to take you quite a bit of time. And at the beginning, I'll just bring the best items to the game. Also, we've just gotten here some duct tape. So let's take that duct tape. Duct tape is very important. Also, there's another arrow pointing me somewhere. Where is it pointing me? Oh, it's pointing me to leave the game again. Why do I have to leave the map? Why does it keep pointing me? I'm pretty certain we have to go to the green zone. The game doesn't show us to go to the green zone, but I'm pretty certain we have to go to the green zone. So do we have anything here? I'm going to pick up everything. These rubber parts are kind of rare. Not super rare, but they are important in the beginning of the game. So I am going to get rid of the bolt bearings and I will take the rubber bands. After that, we might come back to this event depending on how much energy I'll have here. But again, if you're not going to pick up that bolt bearing or something, it's not like you're going to break the game. But here we've got an Glock. 100% take that weapon. We also got the boots. We can equip these boots. And the Glock. We can take it instead of these two bolts, even though bolts are important for your chests. So for now, I'm going to exchange this Glock with that rubber band. But after that, I might come back for the rest of the loot. Maybe that's what we're going to do. We're going to come back for the rest of the loot. Alrighty, here we got some more duct tape, some more miscellaneous items. Just going to take all of them. When you click all, they just stack in your inventory. So just don't bother about it. Click all and <laughs> take that stuff to the base. Here we got some beer. It's kind of useless. Once again, maybe sometimes Dear Lear can ask for it. I've been playing this game for four years and I don't even remember if he ever asks for it. Maybe, I think maybe. But again, we don't care about it. Let's get some more food. And I'm pretty certain we are done with this event, maybe. But for some reason, a wolf hasn't attacked us. Usually there's a wolf attacking us, but this time the wolf hasn't attacked us. And I quite don't get it. Why? We have looted everything. We have looted every single bag. I've cleared this event a couple of times in my life and there's always a wolf attacking us. But this time there were no wolves. Okay, whatever. I'm going to leave this place. Okay, here we go. There's the wolf. Speak of the wolf, Hugo. We got 50 experience. Let's deal with that roaming zombie. We got this military backpack, machete, and 50 coins. Blah, blah, blah. Awesome stuff, but we do not need it. We are living that free-to-play life here. And check this out. The game says now bring loot back to your base. Okay, let's bring the loot back to your base. I mean, let's go. Let's bring the loot back to my base. What am I going to do with that loot otherwise? It's not like I can sell the loot. That's the only place where I can bring it. Alrighty, there is a guy. Zombies attacked my house and need your help. That's what I was talking about. So here we go. This is the first event that you're going to get during your first week of playing the game there's still six other events waiting for us there is the healer and I think the healer spawns once a day, maybe sometimes more. And you can watch an advertisement and get some epic buffs. Like, for example, here, the experience you gain is increased by 100%, which is very important. We are obviously going to get it. Here you can restore your energy. Or you can increase damage done in hand-to-hand -hand fights by 30%. But, as I said, I want to get my experience. So, hey, let's increase the experience. And there are some other buffs that can increase, your, let's say, gun damage by 10%. And some other miscellaneous buffs. But I, I want to get more experience. So check this out. We were able to get this brainweed seeds effect. And I think we can go to backpack. We can go over here to temporary e buffs. And check this out. More experience. So we have 100% more experience for one hour. So we have to take that in for our advantage. As I said, we need to reach level 15 as soon as possible to be able to get that backpack from season 18. So I'm going to drop all the loot back in the base. I'm going to put everything here. And I feel like we should craft another chest. So let's get some more stones and let's craft another chest. It's very necessary. Craft as many chests as possible. Once again, raids start only at level 150. So do not bother 
bother about raids right now. We're gonna increase the size of this base a bit later, but hey, for now, it is what it is. Alrighty, so I'll drop some more melee weapons, guns, and healing items, whatever here. My character is starving. I will eat some jerky just to restore my hunger, even though I would suggest you eating that stuff only when you're fighting other zombies. At the same time, you will heal up and restore your hunger. I just drank some water. I might take maybe five bandages. I don't think I need to take more with me. I brought with me another extra cleaver, so without any further ado, let's go to that special event. Zombies attack Jack and he needs your help. Alrighty, so let's go. Let's help out Jack. It's only 10 energy to go to his base. And check this out, we've already used 42 energy, which back in the days would mean that you've almost used up 50% of your energy, but now it's almost nothing. Say, let's talk now to Jack. Help me get rid of all the zombies. So let's try to fight these zombies. Hopefully they do give experience. And that's what I want to do. I want to fight them just for the sake of experience. Please tell me to give experience. If no, then I won't even bother fighting them. Yes, we do get two experience for zombies. Oh no, that's nothing. Well, I'm just going to let him fight them then. Don't waste your weapons on these guys. They only give you two experience. Just save your weapon. And that's it. Okay, she's just going to fight them by himself. Do not waste your weapon. This event is kind of weird. You don't really get here anything insane, but... It is something, it is quite fun. There's something else I want to ask you. Okay, why? As long as you don't ask for any resources, cover me while I'm fixing the walls. All right, so now he's going to fix the walls and I'll have to go and fight these zombies. But I still don't think they're going to do give me 20 experience. How much experience do we get? Only two XP. That's nothing, mate. We double the experience. Usually they give you only one experience. All right, so check this out. These zombies are attacking him. I am going to attack the zombies. Here go, they're dead. He just fixed that wall. And I'm stuck outside. Maybe we can even get rid of that melee weapon just to save it up. I can use my fists on these roaming zombies as they are quite easy. It's not like we won't be able to get more melee weapons in the future, but hey. Why care about those melee weapons when we can use fists, right? Why waste those melee weapons when you can use your fists? Say, so let's deal with one more roaming zombie. And is that guy done? Okay, so he's repairing one more chest. Uh, okay, so the chest is still locked. We can't open it up while the guy is still there. Let's go. Let's deal with that roaming zombie. And look at this base. Why we can't just take this base for ourselves? That is mind-boggling for me. Okay, let's deal with one more roaming zombie. So this must be the last roaming zombie here. And uh, wait, what is he saying? Thanks a lot. Let's have a look. Looks like it's done now. Great job. That's it. You repair the base. Wait, I can't hear something. It's them again. That's it. We should have built stone walls. I'm getting out of here. All right, so these zombies can go now through level two walls. And again, for those who didn't know, this is like some sort of maybe a clue. But do not build level one or level two walls at the base because zombies will destroy them. So here we got four bandages and a juicy steak. Okay, okay. And that's it. We have gotten nothing else from this entire base. It was only useful for three juicy steaks and for some bandages. Other than that, this event is useless. But hey, we've left the base. There's nothing else that we can pick up from it. So I think we could go quickly to the pine bushes because we still have enough energy and we need to level up as fast as possible. So pine bushes, like that green location, because you saw all of those locations have different colors in them. Green locations are the easiest ones. Red locations are the hardest. Okay, let's deal with the guy. We got 200 experience. We have leveled up. We got this chopper wheel. Obviously, take it. Take probably everything from this guy. You don't really need another backpack because these backpacks are quite easy to craft. So I think I'm just gonna delete it. Also, be very careful in this zone. I don't think I mentioned this, but if you die, you will lose all of your items. There are some locations in the game where you die. You're not going to lose your items. You'll just have to go back to that location and pick up your body. But all of the locations where you have to farm, like green locations, red locations, etc., etc., you will lose your items. So be very careful. I am trying to pick up some wood just to level up and some stones just so that I could craft another hatchet. And hey, let's start looting these chests. I think we might maybe get some bolts. And here we go, we got some bolts. We are gonna get a little bit of duct tape. I don't think I need these wires and metal scraps. Even though metal scraps are kind of all right in the beginning, you can kind of smell them after we're gonna craft this melting furnace. But hey, let's go to skills. And any good skills? Not really, we just we can increase our health by two more points. So let's get it. So now we have 104 health. So I'll try my best to sneak behind as many zombies as possible as I'll be able to kill them with one attack. And check this out. We're going to kill one zombie and we get 100 experience. So as I said, it is really easy to level up. Like the first 10, 15 levels are super easy. Let's go. Let's deal with the fast biter. Fast biters give us 200 experience. Obviously, the fastest way to level up is to clear bunker alpha because you have to clear it to get the loot. And there are lots of zombies. So you'll get lots of experience. But again, bunker alpha is still ahead of us. We don't even have that A card to go there because you need bunker alpha A 
card to access that bunker alpha. But hey, another tip and trick that I can give you is to fight these deer because they're gonna give you some leather and some meat. You need to dry that leather to craft crowbars and crowbars are gonna be very important at the beginning of the game. And obviously meat, you can dry that meat because it's much better to dry your meat than cook it as you don't require any fuel to dry your meat. And wolf holes. Wolf holes also give you raw meat. So now I have to eat those berries just to get the meat. And I'll probably get rid of the grass. Yes, let's go. Let's delete the grass. Even though grass is kind of cool, you can transform that grass into pieces of cloth and then those pieces of cloth into bandages. But that's on level 10. So that's still a bit ahead of us. Check this out. We are already level 6. I can probably get like this neat freak toxic spitter spit 4% less likely to stick to you. Okay, understandable. We're still gonna stink. Those toxic spitters still gonna spit at us and we will still stink. Already another slow zero guy attack me. I don't think I'll be able to kill it. This AI NPC just runs away. Yeah, the dude's just gonna run away. There's no way I'll be able to kill it. The guy's just too fast for us. And yeah, so here we go. He's gonna leave the area. So I'm gonna let my character go on auto, even though he won't be able to pick up these plant fibers. But we can get a couple of seeds. Because seeds are important, you can grow them and get carrots. And carrots are gonna be your only food supply in the beginning of the game. And maybe even for the rest of the game, carrots are pretty cool. Alright, we got some more zombies attacking us. There's this fast biter that has uh, a Christmas outfit. I can't wait to level up. Oh, we even have those boxes. So yeah, I cannot wait to level up to unlock the season because for those who don't know, every month or every two months, there is a new season in Last on Earth and during those seasons, you can get some nice rewards. You can get some nice items. And luckily, I'm starting this new account in the beginning of season 18. So I just broke my weapon. We have also leveled up. So let's get another skill. You heal over the course of 10 minutes when relaxing at your base. Alrighty, so we can get that skill and we can open up some extra chests here. We can get some food some meat and i'm obviously gonna open up some more chests just to bring some more stuff to the base so i think we've dealt with most of the zombies so i think i'm gonna bring the loot back to the base also check these zombies because sometimes they can drop you that a card oh and check this out we've leveled up to level seven so now we've unlocked new items such as the melting furnace the chopper the rain catcher this makeshift bat which is kind of useless <laughs> never crafted and that cb radio so i'm gonna go back to the base and currently we have 135 energy and for those who don't know if you're gonna use a little bit of your energy you will get an airdrop and then you can run to that airdrop and get some free items you can get a free weapon sometimes it's a gun sometimes it's a melee weapon but hey we're back at the base and my character is thirsty so let's quickly drink a little bit of water and let's sort out our inventory somehow some way just to keep more space in the base check this out we can drop that wheel that we've got in here because these are the items that you need to assemble your chopper say so let's drop the wheel in the chopper already so yeah, things that we need to craft obviously we need to craft this garden bed so let's learn it and all we need is just common logs and and some grass. So check this out. Let's get the logs. Let's get some grass. And let's try to craft garden beds. We can craft two garden beds. We can place two garden beds in the base. So we're going to place that first garden bed somewhere over here. And another garden bed close to it. Here we go. Boom. I am going to take my seeds now. Here we go. We have seven seeds. And with those seven carrot seeds, you can grow 14 carrots. So I'm going to split them in half just so that we grow those carrots faster. So let's start growing these carrots. And even though it says that it takes like an hour to grow these carrots, that might sound like a lot. And it is a lot of time. But if you log off the game and you don't play it for a couple of hours those carrots will grow. So most of the time you just fill up your garden and you go to sleep and then next day those carrots grow up. Also our next goal is to unlock this tanning rack but for that we need to be level 14. But hey at least we have the meat dryer so I am gonna start drying the meat here on that meat dryer. And hey let's go to that survival guide and let's see what other points we have to do. So we visited pine bushes. Now we have to build two level one walls and we have to kill 20 zombies in any pine location which that's what we're gonna try to do. The more points the better. The more rewards. I love it. So let's craft two level one walls. So let's get some wood and we can even expand our base a little bit let's go let's craft a few floors over here and they wanted us to craft two level one walls so let's craft that wall over here and another wall here okay got task completed so we can go back to the survival guide and what other tasks to kill 20 zombies yes we're gonna kill those 20 zombies but i feel like before we go anywhere else it would be nice to craft another box i think the more boxes you craft in the beginning the better this way you'll, you can start sorting out your base in total you can have 40 boxes so don't be shy of crafting them 
So I'm gonna place that box somewhere over here. I think I'm also gonna rotate this box just so that it fits uh, properly here so that it look better. So let's click on this button. We can rotate the box. And inside of this other chest, I will already start gathering my melee weapons and guns. So while we're at the base, I think we can get the wood and we could craft ourselves a spear. So I left my crowbars, I left my cleavers here because we do not need them to clear those pine bushes. And we need to save up those weapons to go to bunker alpha. And the spear works wonders for the pine bushes. And check this out, we've got in here this humanitarian aid box. So we will go there. It does cost us 26 energy, but we will have enough energy. So let's go to the pine bushes. Let's kill a couple of extra zombies. And oh boy, it's nice to have 200 energy. So if you started playing this game with 200 energy, then hey, that's awesome. Lucky you. But for those who've experienced the game with only 100 energy, it was almost unplayable. It was pretty hard to do anything. You'd have to save up every piece of energy. Say, so let's deal with these roaming zombies. As you can see, you can kill them with just two attacks and you can save up your crowbars and your cleavers. And that's why I was talking about that bird burglar perk because check this out you cannot open up this box it says that skill burglar level two required so you need to get your burglar skill and while we are leveling up we are also doing that survival guide because the more free resources you can get the better you can also attack these zombies and run away from them so this way they're not gonna attack you so let's deal with one more zombie and how many chops does it take to chop down it you want to three four so for chopping down one tree we get 80 experience so that's almost as killing a zombie all right there's a fast biter i don't think you'll be able to run the fast biter they will damage you okay go dealt with the fast biter we got 200 experience and we have leveled up so we are level eight and we got a fisherman you're a skillful fisherman you know how to make a fishing rod let's get the fisherman let's go let's go even though you get five percent more experience probably would be better but i'm just gonna get the fisherman for the sake of content this way we'll be able to go to the fishing location quite faster okay let's deal with the roaming zombie but yeah getting experience is important the more experience you get the faster you'll be able to level up. That's not rocket science. Oh, but inside of this chest, we got transistors and scrap metal. Get everything. And check this out. We've just completed another task. And now we have to wait for 24 hours for new tasks to appear here, which is awesome. But hey, we have already gotten some water, some steaks, some grass, and golf clubs. So hey, let's take everything and all of those items. Travel to your inbox, which is awesome. I love that they're in your inbox. All right, inside of this chest, we got some ball bearings, some glue. Some duct tape, I'll take it. Oh, we also got a box with presents. We got those blue lights. So we can use those blue lights during the season 18. So usually you won't see those blue lights during any probably other seasons unless it's a Christmas season. So you will have those pine bushes and currently we are going to that airdrop because as I said, there you can get some free items and don't miss on that opportunity. Just go to this airdrop. Even though it takes a little bit of energy, you can always walk there and just wait. But it's useful. Airdrops are useful. During airdrop events, you can also get here some deer. You can get some kills to level up faster. So all of that is awesome. But that's just the side loot, right? That's just like a bonus <laughs> to the airdrop. But hey, check this out. We're going to loot this box. And sometimes someone can attack us here, if I'm not mistaken. There should be the guy with the motorcycle. But I haven't seen him yet. So hey, check this out. Here we got that metal pipe. We need that metal pipe. We should also bring these tickets. Because these green tickets in the beginning of the game are quite useful. All right, fast biter came out of nowhere. So let's deal with that fast biter. And I think I know how we're going to be able to take that stuff. Let's select another skill. So let's get that 5% higher chance to find a poppy. Even though poppies in the beginning of the game are not really that useful. So hey, we're going to take that metal pipe. And we will get rid of this spear for this green ticket. Even though after you level up higher you will get a lot of these green tickets that you will stop picking them up because you'll have a lot of those green tickets from bunker alpha but as of right now we don't have that stuff and hey let's bring that metal pipe back to the base so i'll drop all the melee weapons here and just look at this during the first episode we've already gotten some melee weapons and just as always i am gonna go and dry the raw meat into the jerky and that's where we're gonna wrap up the first episode of our free to play series so make sure to subscribe to not miss future free to play series so i highly suggest you check it out my previous free to play series or click on the second card you'll go to my resident evil 8 let's blur hop over to my channel go to playlist and there you'll find a lot of other games that i played here on the channel if you're not subscribed yet definitely make sure to jump the subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos and consider following me on instagram or twitter at epicyric mm -hmm. yep